Hello everyone, welcome once again to the final day of the 44th Chess Olympiad in Chennai. And one of the highlights of this event was Armenia's, okay, close, a close call for Armenia. Okay, they they lost in the tie break to Uzbekistan, but it was a very strong showing by the Armenian team without Levon Aronian who played for, for the U.S., uh, they came as a group, they came together, they played together, yeah, brothers, yeah, brothers. And also Sargishan in the last five games, first five he drew the first four, lost the game in round number five. But the last five games, amazing, 4.5 out of five. What a performance, beating Shirov, beating Mami Jaro, yeah, beating everyone else. He only lost one game to Gukash, who also had an amazing performance here in the Olympiad. And let's check out uh, the last game against Spain. This is a decisive game by Sir Gishan against the fire on board, Alex Isherov. AD45, C4, C6. The Slav. I think to have six queen to B3. Takes, takes. Bishop into G4, nine C3. I bd7, bishop f4. All right, the important e5 square. Takes, takes, g takes f3. Double pawn, but two bishops. Yes, that's an open position. I prefer white still here. Yeah. I b6 the screen to d3. Takes, of course. Bishop d2. Control of b4 and f4. e6, e4. White's compensation is a control. These two points are pretty strong. Yeah? He has more space than black compared to these two points, c6 and e6. Okay, castle's queen side, queen h4, bishop e3. Castle's queen side, queen d2. Right, threatening bishop g5. And here, black played a mind boggling and g6 move by Sheriff. Okay, it comes with age. Uh, Shirov is, I think, uh, how old is Shirov now? 50, 50 plus. So he's missing all these calculations. Uh, I don't know. He, probably he, he missed that. There's bishop g5, queen h5. He probably thought that if bishop captures here, he will play bishop h6, yeah? And if you go for f4, for example, you will go root h g8. And with some pressure in this diagonal, for example, if you go king b1, they have queen f3. Um, sure was hoping for this one. But he missed this bishop e2 move. Okay. In the game, he played bishop to b4. Now, let's take a look at okay, a move, for example, rook to d7. If you move away, now I have h4. Shurub's queen on h5 is actually trapped. f4 coming up. It was a simple miscalculation by Shurub. With with this position, uh, after okay, sorry, after queen d2, you can just simply play bishop e7. And black is just fine. Continue with uh, a move like king to b1. I can play f5, yeah. And uh, white has to worry about the structure, of course. Or maybe queen a5 first to stop f5. Into b8 and king b1. Yeah. And you go for rook to d7, rook hd8. This is more, more likely, okay, this position is like the Karukan, the black. With opposites, with um, both players casting on the queen's side. With g6, uh, okay, mistakes happen. It's an off day for Sirov here. Bishop g5, h5. Bishop b2, bishop b4. Queen e3, e5, and from here on, well, precision from Sagishan. The last five games is he yeah, is like a computer, right? it's like a machine. Takes d takes e5, rook takes d8, rook d1, f4, of course, king b1, king adding to e8, e5, 
bishop attacks the pawn. No problem, just bishop g4, counterplay, rook b7, rook b7. All right. Black played f5, takes bishop f3. You still cannot take the pawn. There's a pin on the king. Black played h6, h4, still cannot. King e6, still, the pin is there. And the pin is still there. And the king helps. Bishop e7, rook to g1, attacking g6. King e2, bishop e4, g6 counterplay. Rook h1, bishop c2. Now the bishop attacks b2, no problem, just e4. You take b2, the pin comes on b1 to b7. The bishop d4, e5. King d3, king e4, centralize. b4, pawn cannot take. King to the bishop. Bishop into b3, taking away that square for the knight. Bishop f2, b5. That pawn is bad. That will be a target with some ideas of rook h3 to rook a3. Right, the seven bishop c four. Oh, wow, precision. Look h three. Look at that. F five yes. takes target. This h five and a seven. After knight d seven, rook a three. Game over. Okay, you can capture that pawn. H4, but the pin on the nine. What do you do? Pawn and E6 is coming. Sure, resign. And with the win, Armenia ties Uzbekistan with a final score of 19. Yeah, out of a possible 22 points. Yeah, but tiebreak wise, Uzbekistan had the higher tiebreak. Also in their encounter, I believe uh, it was three one, yeah. So just on one, three to one. So if there's head to head, also uh, it's Uzbek. Armenia lost one game to the Uzbeks, yeah. So the Uzbeks are the deserving champions of this year's Olympiad. So that was it. But the last five games from Sargishan. It was amazing. He used to be playing on board four for Armenia. It was Aronian on board one. And with the likes of Akopian, you have Mosession. But this time, it's Sargishan playing on board one. And he was holding his own. And the, the, the strong camaraderie and strong brotherhood of this team actually made the difference. These three teams, uh, the three teams, the one, first, second, and third, Uzbekistan, Armenia, and India. We talk about chemistry. That's number one, the bond. The players that played in this team are always together from a very young age also. And they, they're, born in their, they're born in their own countries. Those back young players. They're not a mix of, uh, like compared to the U.S., it's a mix of Peruana from Italy, Wesley from the Philippines, we have Ar Aronian from Armenia, and Dominguez from Cuba. So there's a mix of ego also in the team. But these brothers, okay, the brotherhood from Armenia, from Uzbekistan, from India, is the togetherness. Yeah? They're friends off the board. So no matter what happens, whether they lose, even if they lose, okay, they have each other's back. Don't worry. We'll have it next time. It's like that. Yeah. You need that one. And that's very important in a team event. I remember when we were playing the UAAP for La Salle, we, we won five straight years because we, we were together like the Aton brothers. They were like my brothers also, yeah, the twin Atons. So that's important in a team event. Closeness of each player. Yeah. 
have each other's back. This is not an individual event. This is not an open event. Yeah, okay. This is the strongest event, team event for this year. And Uzbekistan won. Armenia lost on the tie breaks. It's a pity, but uh, still congratulations. It was a strong showing by Armenia. They were not expected to, to get at least a place in the podium. But they made it. They made it because of their strong bond. So that was the story of the 44th Chess Olympian, Armenia getting second place, Uzbek on first place. Thank you guys again for supporting our channel, Charles Max Chess and Charles Max Entertainment on Facebook and YouTube. This is Coach Oliver. Stay safe, everyone. Else.